Happy Friday. Welcome to Abiding Core. I'm Wendy. I can't believe this is our last session together. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Please don't forget to submit your fitness points on the AP website. The top person that has the most points and the top person with the most stars will each get Dick's Boarding Good gift cards. So please submit those by midnight on Monday, June 1st. If you have any questions, just call the church or contact me. Today, we are going to use a mat. We're gonna use two dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles full of water. We're gonna use gliders or towels for our challenge exercise. And then if you have a ball that you can squeeze right here, that's great. If you don't have a ball, you can roll up a beach towel nice and tight, or you can use a small pillow. You just want something where you can squeeze to engage your inner thighs. So let's get going. Let's warm up side to side. Here we go. You're right, you're left. You're right, you're left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's reach up and tap the toes. Reach, reach and tap, reach. Four, three, two, let's circle back. Loosen up the shoulders. Circle, circle for four, three, two. Elbow back, one at a time. Toes are still tapping. Now both elbows and kick your butt. Get those hamstrings warmed up. For four, three, two, let's reach for the instep. Add a little twist there, feel it. For four, three, two, now elbow to knee. Really twist now. Four, three, two. Now pull down, pull. You're doing a standing crunch, pulling that knee to the chest. For four, three, two, let's kick it. Reach for that foot. We have eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. We're gonna do an exercise now that involves squatting. We're gonna go for a minute. It doesn't, uh, I know a minute sounds like a long time, but I'm sure some of you could hold your breath for a minute. So you want your ball or your beach towel or your pillow. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna squat. I'm gonna set my timer. What we're going to do is we're going to squat for 30 seconds, just up and down. Then the next 20 seconds, we keep it low right here. The last 10 seconds, we're going to blast off. You don't have to jump. You can come up on your toes or just keep it here. So it's up to you. You can keep the squat, stay low, or add the hop. Let's get ready and squat. Go, we're squeezing that ball. We're going low, pushing the butt back, head and shoulders stay up. We're going 30 seconds here. We can do this. You've got it. So when we're at 30 seconds, you can stay here or go with me and stay low. You have less than 10 seconds to go. Get ready. We have three, two, one, stay low and pulse down here. Still squeezing, right? Still squeezing, still squeezing. We got this. We have 10 seconds more to go right here. Then we blast off for the last 10 seconds or stay here. In two, one, go. Last 10 seconds. Blast off if you want to. You've got this. We have four, three, two, you did it. If you want to go another round, pause the video and help yourself. We're going to come down to the ground now and pick up our dumbbells. We're going to do some ground pounders. So if you've been cooped up like me and have some pent up frustration 
this is going to let you release that. So what you're going to want to do is come down on one knee. We'll get both sides, so it doesn't matter which one you pick first. So here's the deal. If you have two dumbbells, we're going to keep a fairly flat back, bent over, and we're just going to pound the ground. And then we'll get the other side. If your dumbbells are not equal weight, that's okay. Just remember if you had the heavier one on the inside or the outside, and when we switch sides, do it the same way. So pick up your dumbbells, here we go. Pound that ground, pound, pound, pound. You've got this. 20 more to go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 more. Could you feel your core bracing and engaged to help support you in that movement? Let's switch sides. So if your weights are uneven, put them the same way you had them on the other leg. And pick up your dumbbells. Get ready, here we go. Start pounding that ground. Release those frustrations. Pound that ground. Come on, come on. We got this. We have 20 more. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. If you do Tabata hit workouts, you can do those for Tabata. Go 20 seconds, rest 10, 20 seconds, rest 10, switch it every time for eight, eight times. All right. We're gonna come down to the, the mat or the floor. Because we've been cooped up and we can't go outside and go places, I thought it'd be fun if we did around the world planks. We're gonna be in a straight arm plank. If you're uncomfortable doing planks, do something where you're in a seated position. You can be here going up and down. You can be standing, doing waist twists. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a straight arm plank. We're trying to align our head, shoulders, hips, and knees. So I'm gonna tell you to lift a body part and we'll hold it for a few seconds. So everybody lift your right hand and hold. You're gonna feel your hips wanna swivel. Try to hold them level. Right hand down, left foot up. You can just hold the plank if, if this is too much. Left foot down, right foot up. Hold, right foot down, left hand out. For four, three, two, left hand down, right foot up. For four, three, two, right foot down, right hand up, lift it up, hold that plank. For four, three, two, right hand down, left foot up, almost around the world, a little bit longer, foot down and left hand up. Last four, three, two, just hold the plank. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you did it. We're gonna roll over on our backs now and do bicycles. So this works our obliques, hands are behind head, we're bringing elbow to opposite knee as we draw that knee in. So let's just start alternating every time. So twist, 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 twist. Keep twisting. In a minute, we're gonna go twist, twist, hold. For four, three, two, twist, twist, hold. Twist, twist, hold. Twist, twist, hold. 
twist, twist, hold, twist, twist. We have four more. Twist, twist, hold, twist, twist, hold two more. Twist, twist, hold, twist, twist, hold. We're done with that. So we've gone around the block, we pounded the ground, and we just went bicycling. Now we're gonna climb a rope. So we're gonna be on our backs again. Our feet are flat on the floor, our knees are bent, and we're just climbing the rope. Pull, pull, alternating with each hand each time. Pull, 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 grab that rope, pull, Pull. We're gonna do the same thing we did on the bicycles. We're gonna switch, switch and hold. Get ready, two, one. Here we go. Reach, reach, hold. Reach, reach, hold. Grab that rope. Reach, reach, hold. Reach, reach, hold. Reach, reach. Back to singles, here we go. Reach, climb, climbing the rope. Climbing, climbing, climbing the rope. Four, three, two. Now cut your rope and fall back. All right. We have our challenge exercise. We've been building up to this. Today we're doing 18 plank pull-ins or pikes. This is where you need your gliders or small towels. We're gonna to be in a plank position. Our feet are on the gliders and we're pulling in, pulling our knees to the chest. 18 times. So it looks like this, pull in. This is a pike. If you haven't tried a pike all week, now's your chance. We're gonna do 18. This is it, we can do it. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go. Pull, pull, pull. There's four. Pull, pull, pull. There's eight, nine, ten. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Great job, I hope you enjoyed that. So please continue to work out. 10 minutes a day does wonders. It's great if you could do 30 minutes five times a week, but build up to what you can do. And what really helps is having a workout buddy. If you can work out with them or even be on a Zoom session with them, or talk to them on the phone before and after you work out. It helps motivationally, it helps, it makes you accountable because you don't want to let your buddy down. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'd be happy to talk to you. And again, enter your points by Monday at midnight. Thanks and God bless.